How's it going guys? It's the final render here and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica Season 3 Episode 3. So this video is going to be pretty cool, we're going to be doing some more work onto the base and also we're going to be doing lots of exploring because in the last video we actually did start to get the base going but there are still some things we need, primarily vehicles. So let's get started. If you enjoy Subnautica and you want to see more videos like this please make sure you give it a like and share it on your Twitter and all your social medias. I sometimes get like an extra 10 subscribers every time one person does that so guys go ahead and do that, it's greatly appreciated. So here we are by our lovely garden. This is the garden that we have started. We've got these little ones growing here and the fruit has almost completely grown to where we can eat it. And we will be adding some more grow beds and stuff up here as well. And we go ahead and enter our base and then go all the way down under the water. But there is a problem with this base and I'm going to show you what that problem is now that I really want to fix. If we go into this story of the base, you can see there is a horrible glitch to where the top of the ocean actually comes in to this room so that this is actually the ocean surface right now. Then if we go one floor lower, we are now under the ocean surface. But final render, you were questioning in doubt, Superman. How will we fix this glitch? Well, that's quite easy, people. We are simply going to remove that floor entirely. Ah! Stalker! <laughs> Not now, Stalker, no. You were following me for ages in the last video. I don't want you chasing me around this entire time. If I give him a fish, actually. Someone in the comment section said name him Paul. So, okay. Paul the Stalker. Paul. Eh. Have that. There you go. Did you enjoy that? No, you, you still want cuddles, do you? <laughs> okay. Paul's actually my dad's name, so a very cool name that is. Before I do anything, I really need to get some water because I am actually currently a bit dehydrated. Is is that the part of the vehicle bay I need? If frig it is! Hey, hey! It was going to be a nightmare going ahead to find that in order to start building the vehicles, but I found it straight away. Oh, there's also a stalker tooth right there. I'll definitely grab that. We need that for enameled glass. So I need to remove this middle room right here. I don't know how difficult that's going to be. Will I have to do lots of annoying fiddly work in order to do that? Let's try it. Yeah, attached components must be decoupled first. Oh, thanks, Paul. So I need to basically go ahead and dismantle an awful lot of stuff in order to get this to work. Okay, so disable this ladder here. So now that's done, I can remove this problem multi-purpose room right here. Go ahead and remove that, no trouble. Okay, I didn't actually need to remove the corridor, but I do want to see if I can make a glass corridor up here as well, because it's really nice, and if I'm doing all this rework, I might as well start off from scratch almost. Paul? What are you doing, Paul? <laughs> How's it going, buddy? He definitely seems tame now, you know. He's not actually biting me. He's playing with me, but he's not biting me. Tell you what, let's see if we can actually give him some of this metal salvage. He likes playing with the salvage, does do the stalkers. In fact, they all do. It's pretty cool in that sense. Paul? Hey, Paul? Come back here, Paul. Here, play with that metal salvage. There we go. Oh, he likes it. He likes it. Thanks very much, Paul. Okay, let's carry on. One thing I will do before I forget as well is I will go ahead and put up the uh, schematics to go ahead and make a fabricator in here. I'll need some gold and some coral samples. I think I actually have some gold. I need to get the coral samples, but I might have some gold. Indeed I do. Okay, let's go ahead and get the coral samples. And luckily we have some right underneath our base. So there we go. Go ahead and grab that. Boom, there we go. Now we've got a fabricator in here. Okay, that's much easier. And I do need to drink some water, so let's go ahead and turn that fish we caught earlier into a bladder fish. Let's turn it into water. What am I saying? Going space crazy again. We need to go ahead and finish up this corridor here. Fantastic! Now that that's done, this is where we get to the cool part of the build, or I hope anyway. What we need to do is use these vertical connectors. I've always struggled about what these do, because they seem to have very little purpose. But this is primarily what they're for, so you can attach things and avoid that glitch I've discovered. Do I want another corridor, or do I just want to put another room there, actually? What does it look like if I put another room there? Does it look too bulbous and blocky? <laughs> bulbous. Yeah, I need to put a corridor there. Okay, we'll go with the glass corridor again. But I do need to go ahead and find some quartz, I reckon. Uh, yep, I need quartz, so I'll tell you what, I'll, um, I'll dump a load of a titanium into the Cordless 7 locker. As you guys know, I actually am going to be naming lockers in future. And uh, what I think I might do, I might do these big lockers. These really big ones can be named after Patreon's names. And the small wall lockers can be subscribers' names. I actually got a huge list on the tablet here. Don't interrupt me, fool. 
I've got a huge list of everyone who wants a locker named after them, so I will be doing that every time I need a new locker. One thing I will say though is that an awful lot of people did ask for lockers. If you've already submitted your name to be on a locker, please assume I've already got your name on the list. Alright, so I need quartz, 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 quartz. There's got to be some around it. There's normally a couple bits around all Paul's friends. But let's see. I might find some in these caves here, actually. Any quartz at all. Uh oh, crash fish! Ha! <laughs> Not today, Al Qaeda! Right, so where's that crash fist nest gone? Ah, it's right there. There we go. Go ahead and grab his powder. Uh oh, another one. Oh, I think there's two more actually. <laughs> I'm not going to go in that cave anymore. It's a bit dangerous. If I were a piece of quartz on the ocean floor, where would I be hiding? Oh, there we go. There's another bit. I just need one more bit of quartz in order to go ahead and make that corridor. Oh, I need to breathe as well. Oh, there's for quartz. How can you breathe, says Game Attack? Oh no, I'm in the giant colon. I need to get to the surface quick. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, I made it. Ha <laughs> ha. Excellent stuff. Right, we got our corridor here, which is fantastic. And now we need to build a ladder. Please work. Please? Do we need to build the ladder first? Is that what it is? Uh, there we go. Uh, Paul, Paul. I know you're happy to see me, buddy, but not now, Paul. Not now. I'm currently trying to build here. I like Paul. Paul's nice. Okay, he's, he's a bit bitey, but you know what? He's a good friend. Well, Paul, no. Don't you bite me, Paul. I've got to go get a med kit now. Okay, I think I need to keep feeding Paul and playing with Paul in order to stop him actually biting me. You know, he'll swim around me, he'll play with me, but if I don't actually go ahead and feed him anyth anything... He actually will just attack me, which I suppose makes sense. He is a wild animal after all. He's not a pet, but it would be nice if he didn't do that. Is the problem I need to use an actual corridor rather than a glass one? Is that the issue? Because if that's the case, I could just build a regular corridor and then just put glass onto it. It's not as nice as the regular glass one. But if that's what I've got to do, then that's what I've got to do. Yeah. Pull! Stop that! Stop that right now! Fine, you want a friggin' fish? Okay. You want this air bladder? I was gonna save this for water, but since you're being such a pest... Oh, now you're not even talking. There you go, eat that bladder fish. Eat that. Maybe I'm going about this wrong way. Maybe I need to start from the bottom. Maybe I need to go ahead and build the corridor this way. I'll build this corridor first. Oh no, of course the glass one isn't gonna work down here, because it's friggin'... The, the roof is glass, so where am I gonna attach the ladder to? And now, vertical connector. Oh! There we go, that's the vertical connector connected. Now that's done, let me put a glass corridor here. I really want a glass one. Will it work? Ah, sweet! Okay, that works. That works indeed. So what about this one then? Obviously I can just put windows on it, but I really basically want to have a glass corridor. But I don't know if it works with the vertical connectors. Thanks, Paul. Right, let's try this again. Will it work? Yep, okay, so the problem is it's got to be a regular corridor at the bottom. So go ahead and put the window there. And also another window on this side. There we go, that's as close as I'm going to get to my original vision. But it's worked. Let's go check it out. So now as you enter the main base, you can kind of walk in. This is our storage room. We'll have all the lockers named after subscribers and Patreons in here. And then we can go in here and hopefully add a ladder. There we go, we can add the ladder right there. And we can obviously look out the windows and stuff like that and climb the said ladder into this corridor and then access this room right here. So it means we've basically got a way to avoid that horrible glitch but still have one room above the surface and have the rest of our base under the water. Which is exactly what I had in mind. It is absolutely superb. I wonder, is my lovely food garden actually growing stuff that we can eat now? Yes, we can actually eat the fruit in the garden now as well. That is absolutely sweet. So let's go ahead and uh, grab some of this seed here. Eat that. Awesome. And of course, since we've actually scrapped one of the rooms, it means we've got some spare titanium left over. So I can probably go ahead and make a new garden as well. Let's go ahead and put it right there. Put a new grow bed right there. So now I'll go ahead and have just marble melon in this one. But I might as well put another lantern tree in there as well, just to make it look good. 
And then we should have even more food growing. And the more we plant, the more we'll grow. So that's obviously the main goal. Hey, Paul. Oh, do you, would you, are you hungry, Paul? What can I give you? Oh, I could probably give you another one of those uh, air bladders if you want. No. Do you want the air bladder, Paul? Do you want it? There you go. You eat that. Well, I put it in there. It's your fault if you didn't find it. So now, vehicle fragments. We need vehicle fragments. We need the sea moth. I'm wondering, where's probably the best place to go? Obviously, you can just go straight to the Aurora and find it pretty much immediately. But that also means building the lead line suit. And I don't want to do that right now. Because, you know, I don't want to go to the Aurora until I'm really ready to go to the Aurora. What on earth is that there? What is that? A bioreactor fragment. Ooh, that's sweet. I need another one of those before I can build the bioreactor. I, get, um, I don't know if I need it. I've got another mobile vehicle bag fragment. Get some titanium because I've already found it. The bioreactor is really, really good. However, it's not really needed because since we've got pretty much constant access to the sun, we should, in theory, be able to just use solar panels. But it would be useful if we decide to build a base deeper down at some point. Ah, this is what I'm thinking of. This is the kind of place I'm looking for. You can often find Seamoth fragments around here, I think. If not, you can also find battery charger fragments. Oh, and these guys, sand sharks. <laughs> I hate these guys. They're just nothing, ooh, nothing but aggressive. Absolutely hate sand sharks. Oh, we got something there. What have we got right there? There's the other part of the bioreactor. Okay, so now we can build a bioreactor. Pretty sweet, as I said. Very useful if we build a base in a cave. But it's not really, really what I want. I want the sea moth fragments. What have we got there? Oh, need to go up and breathe. Ooh, the laser cutter fragment. I do need that in order to get into some of the other bases as well. Okay, air bladder time. Air bladder. Air bladder away. Air bladder deploy. Air bladder. I'm gonna die. Oh, for God's sake, stupid air bladder. This thing. Oh, now you work. Slow as hell, air bladder. What did I lose? Ugh. Not much. Right, I've actually got to go ahead and make a new battery now, seeing as I still don't have the battery recharger. And I need that to go ahead and actually put into my sea glide. Ugh, I really need to find this seam off. Ah, more stuff around here. What have we got? Uh, we got another part of the grab trap. Okay, so we should be able to build that now. Indeed we can. Also got the trash can. Again, good for decorations. You know me, I love decorating my buildings. In fact, I need to. At one point, we'll probably just have a decorating episode, if I'm completely honest. Uh, we got another sea glide fragment there. Where are all these fragments in episode one, eh? A big old fragment of the Aurora over here. What have we got? Anything to explore? Ooh, what's that there? I need that. Is that... Is that part of the Cyclops? Oh, part of the Scanner Room. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Scanner Room, I think, has been heavily updated since the last time we used it. So if I could find all of those fragments, that would be cool. Oh, get near the Aurora. Take the item. It's a battery. Did I grab it? I need that battery. I'm taking damage, I know. But I need that battery. Come on, Seamoth. Where are you? I could be searching the completely wrong area. I have no idea. Okay, I keep getting the radiation warnings over there. So I really can't go that way. But I could have sworn you can find the Seamoth around this area. We've got a couple new schematics and stuff like that. But not what I want. I really don't want to have to do this. Because I want to save it for an entire episode on its own. But I might just have to wait until I've got the radiation suit. So I can go and explore the Aurora in order to go ahead and get the seam off. Why is there a ghost ray here? Oh! That's why. This might actually be the place where you can go ahead and get the fragments. Try the air bladder. Yeah, air bladder works now. Well, no idea what happened earlier. This might actually be the spot where you can get them where these giant mushrooms are. There we go. Someone in the comment section actually told me that... The air bladder is slightly faster than the sea glide. Only slightly. So it probably doesn't really matter which one. But at least the air bladder doesn't use any battery power, I suppose. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Pick it up faint Altera vehicle signals. There we go. Okay, Altera is obviously the corporation which I am part of. Oh, we've got some silver. So that must mean... There are bits of vehicle fragments around here. You know, the Seamoth or the Cyclops. Oh, dear. we one of those giant electric rays over there. Let's avoid that for now. What's that? Is that just some lithium? Oh, lithium. Indeed it is. What's this? Moon pool fragment. Oh, that's another great thing that'll be useful. The moon pool is used to upgrade your vehicles. And we'll need that in order to store everything. So if we can find the other one of that too, then I'm very happy. What is that there? Cyclops bridge fragment. Oh, we're starting to get there. If I get the fragments for the Cyclops before I get the fragments for the... What's it called? For the Seamoth. I'll be very annoyed. 
Oh, more silver. Silver is very useful for electronics. Ooh, diamonds. What? Three million credits? I ain't giving you back this stuff. This isn't the Altera Corporations. What are you, EA? Okay, that's enough. Right, so let's carry on searching. But yeah, we got the friggin' Ghost Razor around here. I, I absolutely love... a oh, Jelly Rays, they're called. The Ghost Razor, obviously, in the Lost River. I love these guys. Completely friendly. No hostile intentions from these guys. They just look pretty. Like me. Final render. Another scanner room fragment there. I believe they said three fragments for the scanner room. Yep, three. Okay. Oh, I am getting hungry. Oh, man. I really wish I bought a beacon. This place is a gold mine. Is that another Cyclops part? It is another Cyclops part. Another part of the bridge. Sweet. Oh, and even more Cyclops bits. Another bit of the bridge. Okay, so now I can actually build the Cyclops bridge. And a piece of the hull. Wow. Oh, there's something to scan over there, actually. Power transmitter fragment. Okay, that'll be useful. I can build that straight away. That's so that I can go ahead and, well, you know, transmit power. Oh, brain coral. Brain coral. Where's it gone? 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 I think I'm over it. Nope. I'm dead. Okay, well, I died and lost. I lost practically all of that. Oh, man, I had so much good stuff. Here we go back at the base then. Right, there's the top floor and there's the bottom floor. I really like the look of it. It actually does look pretty good. I don't like how long the legs are. You know, I might actually go ahead and add some foundation to that instead. But hey, we made it back and now we can build this suit. Probably see if we can build the friggin' mobile vehicle bay as well. You know, otherwise we haven't really done anything in this video, have we? Fiber mesh. Second fiber mesh. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now that that's done. Equipment. Radiation suit. Thank you very much, game. Finally gave me something good. Here we go. Here we go. Am I in the radiation suit? Yes, I am. Okay, so now I can actually go ahead and explore that other area. But first, grub. I'm starving. And now mobile vehicle bay. There we go. Really need this in order to go ahead and make the vehicle since this is what makes the vehicle. So, good thing we've got that. Right, where do I want to put the vehicle bay? Uh, I need a lot of water, because if I go ahead and just pull it anyway, if I build the Cyclops, it'll just hit the surface immediately. So if I go ahead and put it, say, right here, should be in the water. Okay, deploy. There we go, there's my vehicle bay, right next to the base. Should be easy to find as well. Excellent stuff, excellent stuff. So with the vehicle bay, I'll be able to go ahead and build the Seamoth and the Cyclops, once I've got the fragments and the blueprints for them. All right, guys. And I've got five titanium left over, and these wall lockers cost two, so I might as well go ahead and make some more subscriber lockers. Let's see what we can go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and put it right here. Put one locker right there, and we'll also go ahead and put another one here. Remember, these are the names of subscribers. So let's go ahead and see what we got. So I've got all of your names on my tablet here. Let's go ahead and see who is the first one. You. The first one is... Damien! Damien is the very first subscriber locker. So go ahead and put Damien on there. Thank you very much for subscribing, buddy. I greatly appreciate it. Let's go ahead and remove Damien from the list. He has a locker, or she. And the next one is... Boom. Droidica! Droidica! Is that a Star Wars reference? I think it is. Where are the Droidicas? Go ahead and uh, have Droidica spelled this way. Droidica, you have the next locker in the game. That's pretty darn sweet. Eventually, all these walls will be surrounded by lockers named after subscribers, and the big lockers will be named after Patreons. Unfortunately, I actually need copper wire in order to go ahead and make a name for the Patreon locker. Don't actually have any copper right now, unfortunately. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do that next time. Oh wait, I got loads of copper. Never mind. Put that right there. There is a sign right there. Edit the sign. There we go. Let's make it big. So the first Patreon locker is Melena. I'm just looking off screen so I can definitely spell it correctly. Melena, you are the very first Patreon locker. Isn't that sweet, people? Okay, everyone. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Subnautica. I absolutely adore Subnautica. It's got such beautiful brilliance to it. Sure, there are annoying times like in this episode when we didn't find all the fragments I wanted, but hey, 
That's the nature of a survival game. You don't always win necessarily. But I really like the expansions we've done on the base. We have actually managed to fix that horrible room glitch error. So if we actually go ahead and take a look inside the room, we have got that leading into a glass corridor. From there, we can actually see the cool vertical connector right there, which looks really good with the windowed corridor, not the full glass, unfortunately, and our main room. And of course, we have got the Patreon and the subscriber lockers. I really like this idea because I really do appreciate everything that you guys do for me. So it's really nice to kind of give back and kind of acknowledge that you guys actually do really enjoy the content. And I love the fact that you enjoy it so much. And of course, we got our good buddy Paul right here who we have been taming. And he's actually getting much, much friendlier around us, which is absolutely fantastic. And I'm really looking forward to seeing if we can get Paul completely friendly with us or will he sometimes just be a bit bitey because he's a wild animal so again guys thank you very much for watching remember to go ahead and check out all the cool patreon people in the description below who help support the channel with their financial donations you yourself of course can also do the same and slowly we'll be adding all of the patreons to go ahead and be inside the lockers as well and i'll see you next time this has been the final render and you've been the audience remember to go ahead and join the discord and also share the video on your social media as i said i normally gain like 10 so subscribers new every time you guys do that so if a hundred of you did it, then that would be pretty sweet. See you around guys, until next time. Bye bye for now. The YouTube Gaming Video Guide is available now. Use this fantastic learning resource to learn everything you need to know about making high quality YouTube gaming videos. This online video course on Udemy currently has over six and a half hours worth of video content to teach you everything you need to know about how to make fantastic YouTube gaming videos, including how to capture your content, how to edit your content, how to record your audio and commentary tracks, how to create fantastic thumbnails and animations used in visual effects composition and 3D modeling, as well as some film theory and film history. You will also learn how to use some of the best equipment on the market and some of the best editing software on the market so you can always be up to date with the latest trends and technologies. There is a fantastic discount coupon available to you. Use the coupon code GOOGLE to get a huge discount when you go to buy the course. So what are you waiting for? Learn how to make the best YouTube gaming videos right now. Enter an ecological dead zone. Oh, what does that mean? Does that mean I've missed the island? Geological scans of this area show a steep decline in all directions. Whoa, whoa! How's it going guys? It's the final render here and welcome back to Subnautica. In the last video we started season...